Unlike Europe and Asia, where servers are often paid a set of hourly wage or fixed salary, the most common and accepted way to pay servers here in America is through tips. It depends what states you are in. It can be from $2 to $10 per hour. If you are an aspiring server or currently a server who wants to maximize their tips, then this video is right for you. In this video, I'm going to give you 12 tips and tricks on how you can make more money as a server. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. channel my name is Rio from Rio Worldwide bridging Filipino and American culture for today's video we have another episode of how to become a server if you haven't watched the first three parts I will link it down below and also put here at the card so you guys can just click it but anyway for today's video I'm going to give you the 12 tips and tricks on how you can make more money as a server so without further ado let's now jump into the video tip number one genuinely care to your guests be attentive smile Always check if they need anything or ask how was their day. You can also ask if this is their first time in your restaurant or in your resort. And also you can ask them if they are celebrating something because most of the time if you are working in a resort or in an upscale restaurant, they are most likely celebrating something because not a lot of people, you know, will go to an upscale restaurant just for like a regular dinner. Most of the time, they are celebrating something special. So what you can do is make their day extra special by asking them, oh, is there someone, you know, celebrating something, an anniversary or birthday? So in that case, you can ask your manager, hi, you know, my guest is celebrating their anniversary. Is there any way that we can make their anniversary memorable? That's like also building your relationship with them. So it is really, really good. I highly, highly recommend it. Not only they can mention your name in the GSS, in the trip advisor, but also they will give you good recommendation to your manager and will give you great tips. Tip number two, try to remember your guest faces. So when they come back to your restaurant, you can recognize them. And because when you can recognize them, guests feel extra special. So that's another point for you. You can also call them by their last name. For example, hello, Mr. Smith, welcome back again. Hello, Mrs. Smith, welcome. So how will you know their last names or their first name? You can ask the host because sometimes or most of the time, they will ask for their names. So the host will have a record of their name also you can ask your managers if there are VIPs that will be coming in today or you know during your shift so in that way you know who are the VIPs who are the people that you need to give extra care or extra time you know and also just like in general I highly suggest to treat everyone like a VIP because when you take care of your guests they will take care of you tip number three it's never I don't know it's let me find out because when you say no to the guest tip number one they will be disappointed or they will get upset or maybe they can understand you never know if that especially if that is your first time encountering that guest so when they have special requests always make sure that you also confirm with the kitchen because sometimes even though the kitchen can do it but if you guys are very busy most of the time the kitchen cannot you know like accept special requests so always make sure to check first with the chef check with the manager and then inform your guests that you can you know we are happy to uh, inform you that your request can be granted so always make sure to never say I don't know or no no we cannot do that instead let me find out let me double check with my manager tip number four always ask if they have any food allergies in that way you can take note of you know whatever food allergies they have that is also one way of protecting yourself from a disaster that can happen to your guests and also that is one way on saving your guests you know from dying because someone can die from a food allergy so it is very important that you always 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 ask your guests if they have any food allergies and after you finish taking all of their orders 
always try to or not just try but always repeat their orders to them so you know and they know that you guys are on the same page you hear everything all of their requests right tip number five greet everyone that enters your restaurant even though you don't introduce your name literally to them but because since you have your name tag they can recognize your name and of course especially put yourself like you know in the shoes of a guest if someone is like you know you think that they are very welcoming they're very friendly don't you like wish that oh I wish that is my server she looks very accommodating you know what I mean so if they know or if they recognize your name through your name tag or your personality that you are very accommodating or a friendly server of course they will they will most likely to request for you which also means that they can mention your name in the GSS or a trip advisor they can recommend you to your manager and if you are serving them they can give you more tips tip number six get a checkbook for your tips receipts and order you need to have a checkbook or a check presenter when you are presenting or giving the receipt to your guests now most of the time if you are in an upscale restaurant of course they will have a check presenter which you can use but if your restaurant doesn't have a checkbook or a check presenter or sometimes which always happen in our resort during the busy season is that most of the time the servers have or you know the guest is using the check presenter and there will be none left for you by having your own checkbook or check presenter means that when you guys are busy you don't have to worry about the availability of the check presenter you know that you always have it and your guests can use it for example this is the little black booklet that you can give to your guests by the end of their meal with their bill inside this is to hold the receipts from completed transactions cash tips and a pad of paper on which to record your orders tip number seven leave a token of appreciation handing out a small token of appreciation like candy mint or fortune cookie is a very simple way to increase your tips tip number eight learn the menu inside out and backwards memorizing the menu both food and drinks will vastly improve the quality of service that you can offer to your guests flip the script for a second imagine say you go out to eat or grab a drink with your friends and you ask your restaurant server for a personal recommendation or the ingredients that is included in the menu item how would you feel if you ask was met with mumbles a confused look and tell you let me ask my manager annoyed your guests will be too if you don't learn the menu as a restaurant server it is not only your job to learn the menu inside out and backwards but to be able to make recommendation for your guests share all the available add-ons and answer basic questions about common ingredients or allergy risk guys I'm telling you that you should take this really seriously because it takes a lot of effort to become a really good server and if you really want to you know to make more money or have more tips in your salary then you should give a better service and how you can do that by practicing training learning you know molding your skills and learning from others and learning from your mistakes tip number nine choose a casual or an upscale restaurant remember the higher the bill the higher the tips that you can get from your guests the server in a cracker bill and the server in a fine dining restaurants earns differently even though they are both really good but because cracker bill is so affordable of course the bill is much less lower but if you are in an upscale restaurant and you know and usually they will have a bill of 150 to 200 dollars per table their tips you know they give typically from between 15 to 20 percent of their total bill so the more affordable your food menu items are the lesser the you know the tips that they can give you so the higher the bill the higher the tips tip number 10 study and practice the steps of service guys i made a whole video a step-by-step -step video about this i believe it is in the part two of the episode so make sure to check it out but anyway i highly highly recommend this because while i practice the steps of service it also you know give me the opportunity to become the employee of the month so if you just not want you know a lot of tips but also to become the employee of the month i highly highly recommend it tip number 11 always keep track of your paycheck and tips one of the most complicated salary are the tip employee because each restaurant 
each states have different laws and regulations and rules about you know getting tips so we have what we call tip pooling which is very complicated if this is especially your first time encountering it because each hotel or each restaurants have different rules on doing this and also it depends what state you're in because they have different laws and regulations about tip pooling so for example in the total bill of your guest the service charge is hundred dollars so those hundred dollars will not go everything to your bank account it will be shared by you by your assistant server by your food runner by your bar back and by your bartenders so it still depends on the restaurants like what i've said so if you guys practice tip pulling always always ask your hr or your manager on how it works in your restaurant so there's also what we call sub minimum wage and tip credit now if you are not familiar with this because this is very complicated i've made a video before on how does you know a tip employee's can really earn or how much can you really earn as a server here in the United States so I break down like I go really into details on this and I don't want to repeat myself because it's really complicated and you need a lot of to pay attention on that so I highly suggest to watch this video I will link it down below and also link in the description box below so you guys can just click it there and watch it there tip number 12 choose your state wisely now I know most of my viewers will be J1 or from another country and if you are watching this before your uh, program choose your state wisely why because every state have different laws about tip employees every restaurant in California Washington Minnesota Minnesota, Alaska, Oregon, Nevada, and Montana has to pay every employee the same base minimum wage. So what do I mean by this? For example, you are working in California and the minimum wage there is $10. Then even if you are a tip employee, you will still get $10. But for example, you are working in Florida. In Florida, they don't practice this. So the tip employees get less based on their hourly rate. Instead of $7.25 before when I was working, there are only get around five dollars and 25 cents so around uh, that amount so just to give you guys an idea of how you can make the most money or how you can make more money and not just that on how you can really budget your income while you are here in the United States here are the top 10 highest income tax states for 2019 First is California, next is Hawaii, Oregon, Minnesota, Iowa, New Jersey, Vermont, District of Columbia, New York, and Wisconsin. So if you choose to live in these 10 states, then you should expect that your cost of living will be higher. Now, there are only 7 states that doesn't have personal income tax, and that is Wyoming, Washington, Texas, South Dakota, Nevada, Florida and Alaska so in this way you guys can have now more ideas on how you can really make the most of your money and how you can also save it you know what I mean because taxes are no joke here in America so if you guys want to know more about the budgeting expenses of a J1 interns you know or just living here in the United States I have a lot of videos that I made here I will link it also down below and also put it here in the card so you guys can just click it if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you'll be the first one to be notified whenever we upload new junk pack videos and while waiting for our next video make sure to click these two videos right here I make a lot of G1 videos that is for sure will help you with your J1 program and your stay here in the United States so make sure to click these two videos right here and I'll see you guys next week thank you so much bye for now